Hey Cancer, this is Crystal High Queen. Welcome to my channel. So this is your reading for the second half of September 2022. It's just energy, guys, not gender specific. Just flip the roles if that's how it's resonating with your own situation. It's a general reading, guys, so it will not resonate with all of you. You can check this for your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs as well. Because if this reading is not resonating with you, maybe your other placements uh, might resonate, okay? So yeah, let's see. What is going on for Cancer, please? In the second half of September 2022, what's going on for the sign of Cancer? What is going on for the sign of Cancer, please, in the rest of September 2022? Okay, cornucopia, ooh, <clears throat> number 11 in the reverse, door to romance, number 33, and one more card for cancer, please, one more card for cancer, triple one on the clock, guys, okay, action in reverse, mm. Okay, Cancer, so I see somebody is very upset, very, very sad, okay? This person has a lot of romantic feelings for you. They want to open up new opportunities, new doorways to have this romantic connection with you here. But the thing is, for some reason, they are unable to take action. They are unable to, like, they feel very tied down when it comes to taking action with the financial constraints at the bottom of the deck maybe this person doesn't feel good enough for you or maybe they are like dealing with some kind of a financial poverty right now okay so yeah with cornucopia in the reverse um maybe they are unable to manifest some kind of like financial stability or abundance into their life right now because it's really making them very very sad okay cornucopia in the reverse could also be talking about some kind of a delusion maybe this person thinks that you know this is just too good to be true and i'm very delusional Okay, something like that. Yeah, but this person has a lot of romantic feelings for you. Wow. With all the horses here, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, okay? Um, I also saw a thinking man uh, just uh, below the... What was that card? Yeah. Okay, so a fire sign or a water sign as well. Maybe Libra as well. So a fire sign, water sign or an air sign so yeah it could be anything so let's see what happened in the past for cancer please what happened in the past sorry about the honking in the background guys people are crazy here right so what happened in the past for cancer please three cards for the past Okay, Ten of Cups in the reverse. So maybe you had plans to meet up with this person, but this meeting couldn't take place. Again, it made either both of you very, very sad, or especially this person. Because the thing is, they, they, they feel that they're not good enough. Okay, let's see. Um, Ten of Cups is also talking about a lot of sadness. This could be like absolute emotional dissatisfaction in their life all right so what happened in the past please for cancer two more cards okay ace of wands and mm. so yeah this person was they they might wanted to perhaps come towards you maybe they wanted to drive towards you okay maybe they wanted to take you out 422 on the clock guys yes this person could be crying for you at the moment okay with the ace of wands here it's like so we have this is one seven we also have one seven so 17 could be of significance number 17 could be of significant significance to some of you 11 33 perhaps 33 11 so something like that this person really wanted a new maybe you were already in separation with this person right but perhaps out of the blue this person just 
maybe they were just they started communicating with you maybe they wanted to come towards you to meet you but then again it couldn't happen because then i feel this person was like a lot of insecurities perhaps they just didn't feel good enough maybe they they thought maybe like it's like i don't have much on me like i i can't take my person out for something very beautiful or a lavish date kind of a thing right or something so i don't know maybe insecurity so this couldn't happen and there's a lot of sadness around that okay <clears throat> let's see what's happening for cancer in the present please in the second half of september 2022 what's the present energy for cancer please thank you mm -hmm. so we have judgment this could be again capricorn um scorpio or libra energy um and with the chariot here we have cancer wow hmm okay cancer so i also see that you were really really um excited and eager to have this new beginning uh, with this person you wanted to open some romantic doors some you ha you wanted to have a romantic passionate beginning with this person but this this meetup or this reunion couldn't happen right so i think this person got affected more than you maybe you also felt a little bit disappointed but this person felt it even more okay so with the judgment here this person in the present they're learning um, they're learning from their past mistakes they are actually just pondering upon what they did in the past what was wrong of them what wrong words were, were spoken what actions they did were wrong so everything whatever they did in the past they're just really pondering upon all those things and they're trying to learn from those situations what not to do in the present what not to do in the future so learning from their past mistakes basically right so let's see what's happening in the present please in the second half of september 2022 for cancer thank you Mm. seven of cups so this person could actually be dreaming about you or they could actually be looking for ways to come towards you to approach you okay let's see two more cards for cancer Ooh, the queen of wands in the reverse okay so this is you cancer maybe you are really upset and angry with this person or maybe they think that you are really angry with them okay uh, the queen of wands in the reverse is also like this is a very angry energy basically okay so let's see why is the queen of wands here in the second half of september mm. six of pentacles okay so this person sees you as this queen of wands in the reverse they they think that you are really mad at them you are angry with them and until and unless this person starts putting in some effort and energy you are not going to to just accept them okay so maybe there is a lot more that they that they can do in this situation but even though they they can do so much more they just they maybe they're just lazy okay maybe they're just too lazy to put in effort and energy maybe that's why it makes you so mad and angry okay and this person has started to pick up on that they are understanding that being lazy or just not doing anything about the situation it, it's just not going to like it's not going to serve them okay so even though they wanted to be with you in the past maybe they were just too lazy uh, to put an effort okay and they were just just trying to play the victim mentality oh i'm not good enough or oh, i don't have enough money i'm not abundant enough something like that right so now they are learning from their past mistakes and they are basically looking for the best way to approach you because they know that you are angry 
So let's see what, what's happening in the future. But with the Queen of Wands here, they find you extremely beautiful, Cancer. Like you are one of the most beautiful person they have ever met. Okay, so the Queen of Wands is a very beautiful, bold, confident woman, and she has the ability to bring out the best in other people. She inspires other people, and almost every time she is right about what she's thinking, about her opinions and suggestions, right? So your opinion, your suggestion really matters to this person. Now you are angry, so this person is, it's like really... Uh, they're very uncomfortable with this. So let's see what's happening in the future, in the near future, please, for Cancer. What's about to happen for Cancer, please? Two cards for Cancer. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. And one more card for Cancer, please. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. And at the bottom of the deck, um, Five of Cups. Okay, so maybe you are thinking about moving on cancer right uh this person is just unable to concentrate anywhere else in their life right now okay and it's like they they, they just can't find um what, what do i say they just can't find the right time to to take action right and it's like it's really taking a lot from this person they do want to be with you but with the wheel of fortune in the reverse they're just not able to do it perhaps in the near future as well okay so yeah so i feel that you are actually getting ready to to leave this person behind because with the five of cups this person is about to have a very tough time they are just going to regret this if they don't take any action right now or just in the near future, they're just really going to regret this a lot. Hmm. Okay, guys, so this was our reading. I'll continue this reading in the extended version um, where we will see what exactly is this person about to do, what, what their exact actions are, what is the time of their actions, and what will be the outcome of their actions. We'll also get some extra guidance for you, Cancer. For those of you who are not joining me on the extended version, I just, I'll just get one card for you as guidance for the rest of September. What does Cancer need to know, please, in the second half of September? What is their guidance for the second half of September for Cancer, please? Drop into your heart. So you are being guided to just trust what your heart tells you. If you really feel like from your heart that this situation is not serving, it's not going to help you grow, it's not aligning with your values, right? So you maybe you need to just drop it. Okay, so trusting your heart, listening to your heart is really essential, Cancer. Okay, guys, so I'll see you in my next video. Much love and light. Take care. Bye.